Hey guys, it's day two. Today I'm attending Global Sustainable Fashion Week and the conference is just about to start, so follow me along. Co-design means taking or thinking and producing goods and services in such a way that they meet market requirements. They are beautiful, they are stylish, they can be sold, especially using the minimum level of resources and having a minimum impact on the environment and society. But based on what I said before, this starts from the beginning. This starts from fashion designers that have to take all those elements into consideration. So, in our opinion, a new concept is on the way. Fashion sustainable creativity, which is both, both stylistic and technical, because those two pillars have to go together. Yeah, a sustainable fashion in a whole bigger picture. We need to look at and consider sustainable fashion as an industry itself. So we need to look beyond just the material level. So for example, we look at, like Benjamin was talking about today, um, the, the people who are working behind the clothing, if they've been underpaid. a visual person, someone who's resonated more with the idea that you can say more with what you're wearing, oftentimes, than with words. And it's because of this why I've chosen to pursue a career in fashion. But I've also been really interested in things like ethics and sustainability and done quite a bit of advocacy in the past. So when I went to study in university, I took my media and communications degree and I focused really narrowly on those two fields. Um, but it's the field of sustainability where I found my niche and where I've spent the majority of my time researching and writing. Um, but after I graduated, I still felt the pull to work in fashion. So I moved to New York for a little while to work at a luxury fashion marketing firm. But when I got here, the job was quite different than what I expected. I was doing things like wearing sample garments, uh, planning events for media and celebrities. I was doing a whole lot less of this, the writing that I wanted to be doing. And instead, I was told that this selfie stick was the tool of the future, and that I should either turn it on myself to make money or find an influencer for the brand that I was representing. So the firm I was working at, there was really no talk of transparency or brand value. So when I realized that fashion and ethics did not go hand in hand, I decided to move out of the industry. So even further, I decided to plug these keywords into Google as far back as Google would let me go. So this starts at 2004. And the blue and the green lines that you see at the bottom are for sustainable and eco fashion. Now you can see the uptick right here in eco fashion where fashion for goods starts to catch on and consumers are searching for that more. But for the most part, they rank at the bottom. Now you can see the uptick recently in fast fashion, where people have started to search for that more, but what I really want to call out here is that consumers have most consistently searched for the word cheap fashion through all 13 years. Now, just to make things really interesting, I decided to throw the word Zara in there. And at first I thought that this was a mistake, but People are searching for Zara so much more than these other four terms that it's pushed them all down to the bottom. Shocking, right? 